Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcom. Commander, something on your mind? What? No. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. They had something to say. Alright, weird. Alright, so I wanted to go over <coughs> a couple of things with that last one. Um, so, um, to get them to work together is very specific stuff. You have to have, um, first off, uh, Le Italian Legion must be both be alive. And, one, and if you're wondering what happens if t uh, Italian or Legion dies, okay, I've, kind of, I've kind of seen what happens through like YouTube stuff or whatever. Because it's actually super interesting. So, if Tally is dead, then it is just Admiral Ron, and Admiral Ron comes down in the pod, and she is the one with Legion. And she's the one with Legion and, and, and you, and she's the one that, that's um, kind of like talking with you and disseminating all this all this information. So, obviously, she will not really tell the uh, the fleet to stop firing, because uh, she doesn't really trust Shepard, obviously, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that. Um, so, Italian, uh, so, okay, and then, so these are the credits. So, Italian Legion will supposed to be alive. Oh, yeah, and if, if Legion's dead, uh, apparently a VI interface representing Legion is the same thing there. So I guess, like, some somewhere at the end, uh, the, I don't know what happens, but apparently if he's the VI interface version of, uh, of him, then, I don't know, that's, uh, honestly, it's kind of the lamest, like, cop-out that they did. Which was like have a VI interface representing Legion because he died on the suicide mission or something. I don't know. Or, or like you sold him to Cerberus or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, more requirements. Ty must have not been exiled. So I guess she's an admiral and stuff. Legion's loyalty mission must have been completed. Um, I guess Ty's loyalty mission. Well, you you would have had to do it because because she would have had to not been exiled. Um, you, uh, you have to use the Charm or Intimidate option to stop the argument between Tally and Legion in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> and you must have, uh, like, uh, I think it's like four bars of reputation. How much bars do I have of reputation? One, two, three, four. So I have, I have four. Well, I, I, I don't think, I think it has to just be like this much here. Maybe, maybe I've just barely had it, I don't know. Honestly though, I would not have shed a tear if, like, uh, if the game was like, oh no, you didn't do it, because like, what what happened is that the fucking the get the the um, the Quarians would have gotten uh, died. I'll I'll tell you tell you about that in a sec. Um, also, Chorus must have been rescued, and you have to finish the Geth Fire Squadron. So I did all of that, and then and then and only then can you get them to cooperate together. So there's two things you can do. You can prevent Legion from uploading the code. Uh, if if you don't fulfill these requirements, if you prevent Legion from uploading the code, obviously he'll be a little bit mad, and then he'll try and do it, and then you get to shoot him in the back. And so Ron or Tally will be more than happy to shoot him in the back for you uh, if you don't do it. And they have this they have this fucking so sad uh, renegade interrupt where you're basically just pulling the fucking trigger yourself on your old friend. Yeah, <laughs> like that's as renegade as it gets, man. But that's how, honestly, I would have never done that. Um, so the other option is you upload the code, and it basically goes through the same process that you just saw. But the only difference is that um, if you don't use the the renegade uh, uh, speech option there, what will happen is instead uh, they will keep firing on the ships. Uh, they will keep firing on the Geth. The Geth will come online with their new code upgrades. And they will literally tear the uh, the Quarian fleet to, to fucking pieces. All right. So, depending upon um, who you have down there on the planet, uh, which is either Ron or uh, Tally. Uh, Ron is if Tally died on the suicide mission. Um, Ron will 
uh, we'll see. Oh, so basically, they'll see like uh, parts of their fleet going there. Because remember, they put that they put all of their fleet into into that attack. Even like they even put like their they said their live ships with guns, which means literally every part of the quarried fleet has uh, <laughs> is a part of that. So if the entire fleet is dead, that means like their race is dead. Sort of thing. So they see like uh, so it shows like the atmosphere and like all the, all this debris coming down, right? Because it's the, the quarrying fleet dying, and then and then um, so if you have Ron with you, Ron will pick up a gun and shoot herself in the head, um, and there's no way you can stop that if if uh, if if that happens. She like she just commits suicide right there. She's like fu like fuck this shit. I'm out because uh, it's like such a yeah. It's so sad. Um, if you have Tally. Tally will try and jump off, uh, well, like, kind of, like, do, like, the, the weird, like, Titanic thing where she, like, tries to, like, go backwards off a cliff to kill herself. Um, although I think he can save her. Uh, he can save her and she'll obviously be maybe a little bit upset during the rest of the game, but, um, if you have Tally, um, and you kill the Korean fleet off, then, yeah. But honestly, the Koreans can't deserve it. They're, they're kind of fucking dicks, and that's what I honestly would have done. The other thing is, in Mass Effect 2, I destroyed the heretics and I shouldn't have done that because the fleet power now of the geth is a little bit diminished but I mean I have the double thing on so I guess it doesn't really fucking matter and quite honestly at this point this is almost as much to get like the good ending even if I didn't have this on I just put it on just in case so just you take this divided by two that's what I should normally have um so or something like that I don't know uh, does anyone really care I don't really care but anyways, it's those are I, I those are one of the more interesting kind of choices that you have uh, with regards to um, like the the game doesn't always have the best like choices and stuff for for things like this, but in this particular case, it actually did a really good job with like the different kinds of endings and like um, uh, ways you could do it. Warning people in the Citadel. Uh, I just updated this a billion times. I mean, I thought I thought it was kind of cool. I, I actually just like all those options. And yeah, Legion dies, and there's like need to do about it. He dies in the most bitch way. It's like, oh, hey, you need. I need to, in order to copy Reaper code upgrades, I need to kill myself. My planet needs me. Just need more guns. Ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first, I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight or flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Commander. All right, let's see here. Burger support. All right, there we go. Fleets back at full strength. So yeah, the Aquarians and you get both fleets essentially. Uh, she wants to be dropped by. She's in engineering, so. Like I said, if if I if it came down to it, I would let the Geth win, and I'd have the, just the Geth fleet. But I don't know, who gives a shit? Fuck you guys. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally along with legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kind of hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. 
Commander. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Hello, Shepard. All right. Not too bad. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what you guys would pick, but fucking if you if it came down to it, I can geth every time. Geth did nothing wrong. Oh, nobody, nobody's ever playing poker. Why do we even have that thing? Oh, uh, hey, Ashley. Impressed you got those two groups together. I'm glad you are. We'll see how long the peace lasts. I will guess we'll see. Commander. Commander. That one was way shorter than I imagined it would be. Chuck was. Commander. Yeah, Quar, obviously. Eh, nothing here. This is a cow one time I just got Javik just trying to like fucking airlock the AI on her ship. You're like, oh Javik. It's some kinda like like seventies music to play us out. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Maybe later. So I don't know why the Geths really care about Reapers, but I guess they really don't. It's just that the the fucking Another quarians. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Yeah, no more upgrades. Hello again. Hello again. Alright. The private messages terminal. Oh, the Caden terminal. Fuck that place. Alright, and we are on the crew deck, so. See, the 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 Citadel elevator removes the deck you're on. The Normandy does not. So, uh, thanks a lot for the consistency. Donnie, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trina? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take video. All good, Commander. Commander? Nothing to report, Commander. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping, setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. 
Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. Isn't that close to what happened before the Geth rebelled last time? Yes, but this time, the Geth and the Quarians have chosen it. That's not to say there aren't issues. What if no Geth wants to augment Admiral Gero because of his role in the war? And who decides on something that affects the suit? But as problems go, I'll take them over what we had. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Well, there you go. Another deck to, to, to visit. Alright, let's go talk to Javik. Another Reaper has died. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish, century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces. And we are their prey. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do All right. what you must. That would be the worthless advice. It would be better if he tells me no matter what scars you bear. Whatever uniform you wear. Commander? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have to bring her up, I think. Or maybe I do. To my main place. I don't give a fuck though. Alright. Alright, so anywhere apparently that doesn't have Reapers that come after you doesn't have anything at all. Um, so, I, I didn't actually look at these two places, so maybe we'll just do that quickly. Apparently, there has to be Reapers for there to be goodies. You need a bit of Reapers in your life in order to see the good. Yeah, see, there's going to be something around here, then. Alright, we're looking around. Reapers eluded. Actually, to be honest, this doesn't seem like there's anything in there. I, I actually already, I already looked at this system, I just remembered. Evasion successful. So... You know what, fuck you. I, I did everything I wanted to do, okay. You know what? It's, uh, wait, 9%? 9%? How did I not do anything here? Yeah, okay, we'll just do this place and then I'll leave it. Wait, wait, what? 100% of assets. Oh, but maybe these things spawned? What the fuck? Guys, wreckage. Alright, guys, I'm really confused. I found something. Alright. Reapers eluded. Let's get that one. Gotta go over here. What do these things even have? 
Any plan. Ah, oh, sniper unit. Alright. It's worth. The way I would have wanted things to go down. That is one fast fucking reaper. Alright, there we go. Found it. That should be good. Eh, it's probably fuel. Yep, it's always fuel. Evasion successful. It's the thing that really likes giving you in this case. Dude, I swear I did this before, but 9%. Signal confirmed. There we go. And... There we go. Of course this is more fuel. Alright. Good enough. Reapers eluded. Holy shit, that place is so far away. I found something. Oh nice. Two planets. Alcor Flotilla. The Elcor homeworld. Oh, hey. I actually want to see what the gravity was on this planet. Code of the Ancients. Where's gravity? Yeah, 4G. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we gotta go get that one. Faster than light jump successful. I don't, I don't even want to read that. No, it's fuel. Evasion successful. Signal confirmed. I mean, Elkor Homeworld is pretty baller. Nevos. Alright. Looks like Earth. I say we just settle here. No one will know. Rigs of a loon. Alright, what's this guy have? Nothing. Oh, there we go. And it's just dead sniper rifle money. Guaranteed to be fuel here. Where's the last one? It's gonna f physically bother me if, like, faster than light jumps. It has to be somewhere down here. There it is. I knew it. It's always fuel, man. Every time. Evasion successful. Dude, with gas, with gas prices these days, I wish I could just find fuel like that. Let's go into like a random fucking house. Put some bleeper things on. You know, people of the house fucking just come after you and sound their reaper horns. Fucking just take their gas. Everything would be better if everybody was a reaper. Just saying. Alright, well, we can go back to uh, less at all. I'm still debating when to do some of this stuff, but yeah. Uh, let's go to the docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the hospital. I want to yes, laugh, like, laugh at Jacob some more. Uh, we could just do these really fast, like consultant right there. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm supposed to basically look at the map instead of actually talking to everybody. Excuse me, I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in bay D24. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Spectre status recognized. 
Please One moment. Because no matter what scars you bear. Right, this one has James and Zaid. Oh, don't need to talk to either of them. Who's here? Arya, an angry Elcor. Fuck yeah. Now arriving at fourth level, yeah, this one looks pretty angry. I recovered the code of the ancients from Takuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. With shock and joy. Really, this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. Sincerely, this will greatly aid our people. Now this opens up the, uh, the Elcor romance relationship. Uh, I see you're taking already. With sincere gratitude. Thank you, human. Oh. Why do Elcor not want to kiss me? I even get rejected by Elcor. Feels bad, man. Please select a destination. Uh, embassies now. Let's go to comments first. Uh, Tally, Baron Vaughn. We know he's not here, so. That's just embassies. Uh. I will go to the Spectre office real fast. <laughs> and then after that, yeah. Is this story bait again? Oh, yes. More story bait. I don't know where Neota is either. I never, I never know what would be interesting for me to stop and look at. Because I just wouldn't stop and look at really much of any of it. But at, after a certain point, I, I even got bored of it. Alright. So we can get the the uh, Carniflex. Um, I don't know, man. So most of these weapons are like, you know, the, this is probably shit I miss, missed on planets. That's why it's giving to me here. But like, fuck all of that. I don't need any of it. I don't even know what to do with my money anywhere. Oh, yeah, I know what to do. We put that into the fucking aquarium thing so we can actually have fish. Yeah, we'll do that later. I actually just want to go. I'm going to do some other shit. Bye.